Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone. Today I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, Texas, and while Kayla's hanging out with a couple of her friends that she hasn't seen in a long time, it gave me some downtime, and I figured, based on where we were going, we, we had to go to Mineral Wells so she could meet with her friend, and the Union Pacific rail line that you see behind me going over this bridge and goes over the Brazos River, uh, it wasn't too far, so I figured I'm on this it is a public road here, it's a dirt road, and it's just a dead end road, it loops around and goes back out to one of the main roads. I figured while I had some time to kill, I'd come out here and sit down and just hang out and wait for a Union Pacific train to come through. And we are expecting one going westbound from the Weatherford side out towards Abilene. And, well, let's just wait and wait for it to come across this bridge where I'm standing, I know it looks awfully close to the tracks, but I'm actually on this little gravel area here along the side with the, the truck over on the side there. And I'm probably about 20, 25 feet away from the tracks actually. So what I was going to do is I'll stand about this close here when the train's coming up this way. And when it starts getting near the bridge, I'll back up a little bit. Um, I'm not on the tracks. I'm not going on the tracks or anywhere near that. And it'll be going this way, which unfortunately you can't see much because of all the overgrowth. But that's the way it'll be going. So, let's wait for Union Pacific. Okay, here comes Union Pacific. Rocketing up the tracks.
All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look here at the Union Pacific. I didn't think there would be that many locomotives on that, so that was a pleasant surprise. Um, not complaining, though. That was cool to see, even if it was an intermodal or intermodal train. I don't care, however you say it. That was fun to watch, and I hope you enjoyed. It was cool to see it come across this bridge. Uh, I just wish I could be a little bit closer so we could actually see uh, the water underneath, or if I was able to get down to the river and catch it from down there. That would be pretty significant. But anyway, that was fun. That was some pretty good medicine out here. Just hanging out with some downtime. And actually, while I was waiting for this train to come by, I was editing some other videos that we just recently done, and you'll see. And anyway, that'll be it for here. All right, now I've moved on to Panama Road, where I have done a rail fan video before, out here in the middle of nowhere, just off of Interstate 20. I'm expecting a train, I'm assuming, that is going to be eastbound because the lights have been activated facing the east, and they're both red. So I assume one is on its way from the Abilene side towards Weatherford, uh, which means it would be heading down that way, down there, which is where the road goes, and you'll see that in a driving video here very soon. So we'll wait it out. Hopefully it's a good one. All right, there's the train way off in the distance there coming my way very quickly. It looks awfully far away, but it'll be here in just a moment. Storming up the tracks. Here it comes. Southern. Out here? <laughs>
goody. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at that Union Pacific mixed freight that came through here. Pretty cool. That's the first time I was able to catch a train like that on this line. Uh, the last few trains I had seen on here and caught, including our summer trip, were all intermodals or models, however you pronounce that. Now, it's been several minutes since the train passed by heading eastbound, and I'm noticing the lights down there are still on, and they're both red facing that way. I know they usually turn off. They are usually turned off uh, when a train passes by so far uh, to save energy. I mean, these lines aren't used that often anyway, so normally they get turned off because of inactivity, but they're still on. Makes me wonder if another train is on its way from the west heading towards Weatherford and Fort Worth, but if not, no big deal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give the video a like. It's fun coming out here and experiencing the Union Pacific, uh, because in my neck of the woods, it's all CSX and Norfolk Southern, unless you can catch a heritage unit like I have. So it's fun to come out here and see something different, including the uh, Canadian Pacific train we caught on the uh, intermodal train in Abilene back in the summer. So, okay, so the lights did just turn off, so that tells me nothing is nothing else is on its way. They probably have to get so far and pass a switch over there uh, to deactivate the lights, so. But anyway, that's cool. We got two of them. I hope you enjoyed again. I'm going to take off, and like I had said in the beginning of this segment here, I'm going to do a driving video here on Panama Road because it's just so beautiful and scenic, and I have the GoPro ready to go mounted to the hood, uh, for the uh, real off-roading experience because it, most of this road is a dirt road and at one point it actually goes under the railroad tracks and goes over to the other side. So stay tuned for that video. Also, I want to give a very special shout out and thanks to my in-laws, Kayla's parents, uh, for allowing me to drive one of their trucks. They got this brand new 2021 or 2022 Ford Ranger. It's a badass little truck. And I thank you very much for letting me drive this. It's a lot of fun. Can I keep it? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyway, I'm taking off. Sorry, I keep looking down there to see if maybe they would turn back on for another train, but I doubt that. Anyway, take care, everybody. Stay awesome. Thanks for watching. And on Kayla's behalf, since she's still hanging out with her friends, have a Union Pacific licious day. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye.